Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make an on and off campfire for your survival world or realm. What we have here are two different ways that you can implement this build into your own world. So this is more of an outdoorsy patio backyard type build, so we have our brick flooring, we have our little fire pit, and then we have a little stone bench right here, and then this other design is going to be the exact same redstone wise so we are using the same exact block swapper for both of these but the way we go about turning these on are going to be different and this build is more of an outdoorsy nature let's say you're going camping and you want to have a tent and you have some logs that you sit on around the fire that is meant for that type of build just to show what you can do with it but let's go ahead and take a look at this one this one is going to run on a T flip-flop. That means we can turn it on or off from the outside. So if we swing around, we press this button right here. The blocks are going to swap. Our campfire is going to turn on. And then to turn it off, what we're going to do is press the button once again. The blocks are going to swap again, dispense some water, and then put the campfire out. For this design, what I wanted to do was wire it up to a daylight sensor. So the idea was I wanted the campfire to kick on before the sun actually went all the way down. So with the way it's set, we should see it flip over in just a moment before the sun actually goes down all the way. There we go. So the sun is just barely going down and the campfire has kicked on. Now if we go ahead and switch it over to sunrise, it's gonna do the exact same thing except it's gonna turn off. So before the moon actually goes down all the way, we are going to see this turn off, and let's go ahead and wait just a moment. And there we go. It has swapped over, and it has turned off, and just in time for the sun to rise. So again, two different designs. One is running on a daylight sensor. One is running on a T flip-flop. But the redstone circuit for the block swapper is going to be exactly the same, and I'll show you how to make both of these designs. To make this on and off campfire or toggle bowl campfire, you are going to need a 5x6 area and let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. There we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have are two pistons, one sticky piston, two dispensers, three observers, two repeaters, two redstone torches, seven redstone dust, your building blocks, your flint and steel, a bucket of water, and of course your campfire. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. What we're going to do first is build our block swapper. So let's go ahead and come three blocks back, and right here in the center, place a temporary block, a block up, remove that. Off to the right, go ahead and make an L shape like this. Right behind it, place a block up like that. Now over on the left side, we're going to skip this block and place two blocks right here. Another block up like that. Now go ahead and grab your pistons, and on top of these blocks, place your pistons facing in. Turn around, piston facing in like this. Now go ahead and grab your redstone torch, and on the left side of this block, place down your redstone torch. Grab your redstone dust, and line these blocks up with dust. That is going to power, this is going to extend, and redstone dust over on this side. This is going to be off. Now if we go ahead and throw a lever on this block, and give it power, this is going to invert, turning this line off, and then this line is going to power, and this is going to extend. So we have this part of the circuit done. Now what we need to do is wire up the piston that is going to push our block up to actually swap. So from here, the block in front of the piston, go ahead and place a block right there. Throw down your repeater, set that to 4 ticks of delay. Temporary block right there. Get your observer. Observer facing in this direction, so we have a red dot facing the repeater, and then we have the face looking at the redstone torch. Now go ahead, run that repeater into a block right here, like that. Redstone torch, place it right there. Now go ahead and place a temporary block right there. Get your sticky piston, and place your sticky piston facing up. That is going to extend, we can remove this. And there we go, there is the block swapper. So if we go ahead, let's place the orange block there and a blue one right here and we give it a flip these are going to swap and there we go we have ourselves 
a working block swapper. Now that we have a working block swapper, we do need to swap these blocks out for dispensers. So if you place blocks in here, go ahead and remove them. Get your dispensers, place a dispenser facing up. And then where the lower block was, place another dispenser facing up right there. Get your campfire, crouch place your campfire on top of the dispenser. Now the next thing we want to do is put out the fire. So down below, go ahead and place in your bucket of water. And in the dispenser right under the campfire, go ahead and place in your flint and steel which is right here. And again, we do have a working block swapper at this point in time, but we have no way of activating these dispensers. So what we're gonna do is grab some redstone dust, swing around to the backside and under this redstone torch, place down redstone dust, redstone dust right there, a repeater running to the front of the build and set that to four ticks. Now what this is gonna do, we can look at it from right here, we're going to flip the lever, the block swaps, and after the block swapper is done, we can see the repeater turn back on. Let's go ahead and do it again if you didn't catch it. So it finishes swapping, and then turns back on. From here, what we're going to do is grab our observers. Observer facing in this direction, again crouch place. So the red dot is facing up, an observer detecting that observer and run that into a block right against the dispenser. Now at the moment, we do have the bucket of water in there, so the flint and steel would be next, but to be on the safe side, what we need to do is make a five by five area. So two blocks out from the campfire, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So when the water comes up, it doesn't break all of the redstone down below. And another layer right here. So if we give it a flip, that's gonna be the flint and steel, nothing is gonna happen. Flip it again, we get our water, and as you saw in the beginning, we give it another flip, and then it will turn back on. And that is the redstone for the build, all completed. From here, you can choose to use a lever if you want to. You can have a lever on the top side, so if we place it right here, and then redstone dust there, we can break this. We can give it a flip. It's going to work exactly the same. But like I said, I'll show you how to wire it up to a T flip-flop or a daylight sensor. So let's go ahead and do that. For those of you who want a T flip-flop, what we're going to do is grab a block and place a block right there with a repeater running into the block that has a redstone torch. A block up like this. And on this corner block, place a dropper facing up, a dropper facing towards this block. Hopper running into the bottom dropper, and we do want to crouch place that. And then, of course, to place this dropper on top of this one, we want to crouch place so we don't open up the inventory like that. Now get a comparator. Again, crouch place comparator out from the dropper and into this block. Open up the bottom dropper and throw a junk item inside. And no, it does not have to be a diamond block. I just like to do that for fun. And then from here, we can go ahead and place blocks like this. So again, this would be the ground level. Get your redstone dust and crouch place redstone dust on top of this dropper like that. And then go ahead and get your stone button, place it right there, and the T flip-flop is all set up. So let's go ahead and give it a test. There we go. The campfire is on. We press it again. The T flip-flop activates, and then the campfire is off. So that is how we wire this up to a T flip flop. And for those who want to use a daylight sensor, what we can do is grab our blocks once again against this redstone dust at the corner of our L, place a block right here. Repeater, leave that set to one tick. Four blocks like this. And the four blocks gives it the timing that I want it to have. You can play with it however you want. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer, whatever fits your needs. This is how I'm doing it though. And right above this one, I'm going to place down my daylight sensor. So that is going to swap. And we can go ahead and place in the floor just like we did earlier. But above the daylight sensor, we do want to have a transparent block. So a slab. In this case, for here, I used a leaf block. That will work. Glass. Whatever your environment is, you can go ahead and use that as long as it is transparent. A solid block will not work above it. That is not going to detect anything. We do need this to be transparent like this. 
And that is pretty much it. Again, if we set this to sunset, it's going to swap over. And then, as you saw in the beginning, when we swap it over to sunrise, it's going to swap back to the other setting. And there you have it, everyone. A campfire that you can toggle on or off for Bedrock Edition. This is the end of today's Redstone tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.